Welcome to the tutorial for English numbers. This uh, will be presented on the iPhone simulator with the Retina display, but it's equally applicable to the iPad, which is functionally identical. Uh, as well, this is the full version. The free version is limited, not surprisingly, um, but I'll cover the details of the of these limitations as I go. So we're going to start with one of two games called Listen. We'll skip this because I'll cover it. Five. And it's simply a matter of clicking the digits corresponding to the sound that you hear. Two. And you'll notice that the green uh, bar flashed by, and that indicates that we were correct. And we have a scoreboard here number of questions, number correct, number correct in the row. And uh, I can get, show you the repeat button because I forgot what number was said. So we'll press a repeat. Two. Two. Six. Now we'll pretend that we get this one wrong. And six. We have a red bar here, and you'll notice that our correct in row has been reset to zero, and we're down to two correct. If we truly cannot uh, understand what uh, is being said, six. Six. We don't have to continue forever. We can press the skip button here. Now, when I press the skip button, just uh, watched the scoreboard here. One. And it tells us which number we skipped. So press when we get it uh, correct next time. Two. And that covers the listen mode. And we'll go to speak, which is not a game, it's for reference. You can type in any number from 0 to 1 million uh, for the full version, 0 to 42 for the free version and hear the number spoken and see it um, and see the words eight hundred and eighty eight eight hundred eighty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight forty five and so forth so uh, it's very simple, just for reference. We'll go to read now. Here we have um, the word presented, and we type in the corresponding uh, digits. Now you notice we have a scoreboard. It's uh, similar, well, it's identical to listen, but of course it's, uh, it keeps a score for, for this particular game. And so forth. We'll go to settings now. There's a few settings. Uh, one is uh, the, f the first set is uh, lessons. Now the lessons that we've been uh, using so far has been a custom range from, from zero to one million, the full full scope of the numbers. But if we had a test coming up, we could just pick one of this range here, and, we, and uh, this is applicable to both listen and read. Eighty nine. Eighty four. And only numbers within that range will be presented. Eighty two. Go to read. So forth. It's only within that that area. Go back to custom range now. Um, and you can uh, look at the other lessons at leisure, but uh, you can see some of their some of them here: hours, cents, days, centuries. There's only one dialect at this point, American. We've been using the. Um, guided uh, mode in, in which you, you're you permitted to uh, play with larger numbers if you uh, get the lower ones correct. Let's uh, go to the random mode, which doesn't look at your past performance, it's completely random. And we'll go with 20, 21st century, and we'll go to listen again. Uh, all of these settings apply to both games. 2,043. Two thousand and ninety. And again, these are two thousand and ninety. Oh, I should be listening. Two thousand and fifteen. And these are all within the the range. And the the read, of course, is uh, exactly the same. And you'll notice that the oh, by the way, you can click the the number to erase it. But you notice that the it's within the range that we we selected and it's also it's uh, completely random because uh, we certainly never encountered a number 
um, this high uh, before or anything even close to it. So it's it's, it's ignorant of your past uh, past performance. Uh, finally, with the other, we can sh toggle the the, uh, the visibility of the scoreboard. So we go back here. There's no scoreboard at all. And two thousand and one. And there's no scoreboard here. Two thousand and two. The scores are are still kept. So if we go back to this one, you, you haven't lost your scores. Clear history, though, you will you, you lose your scores. Um, you get this uh, frightful warning, but uh, this is a demo, so we'll, we'll say yes. And you go back here, and uh, you're back to zero. It's reset, and the same is, applies to uh, listen. Uh, finally, this is a matter of style. By default, if you, if you type the number like this, eight hundred and eighty-eight, you get and, which is. Uh, which is suitable for for some some countries, some dialects, um, but uh, I've had feedback from people who, who prefer not to have that. So I decided to put a toggle in here, so you can elect not to have it. So we'll go back and type the same number. Eight hundred eighty-eight. And simply that. Finally, we'll go to the info view, and uh, this is this uh, tutorial. In fact, you can watch it anytime. You can go to the support site. Uh, you can review, preferably a positive review, but even negative constructive reviews are very much appreciated. Um, that's how that's how apps like these evolve. And also there are two other apps, well, one app really with a paid and free version, that uh, is part of the English language series, the alphabet. So that concludes the tutorial for English numbers. So, um, incidentally, this is for version 2.94, around that. And uh, I hope that it's uh, useful to you or to your students, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.